The hearing concerning gun violence ignited passionate pleas from the public, the majority of whom told the task force New Jersey doesn't need tougher gun laws. I don't think that any of the 43 bills that are currently in the legislature will do anything to keep uh, violence uh, from happening. Those, those gun laws, are, are, they're putting them against me. I, I don't commit uh, crimes against anybody else. As a gun owner, I carry around an ID. And we don't sell guns to each other unless we see an ID. Sure, if I may ask you to come up. Sure. So I just want to ask this committee, please choose all these common ground solutions and not these 40-some legislative bills that we see that just won't do any good. But Donna Jackson, one of just a few people from Newark who testified, believes gun rights advocates might have a different opinion if they lived in an urban area where violence is rampant. Everybody was appalled, upset, and outraged about Newtown. I want you to be as appalled and upset and outraged about the homicides that I have daily in Newark, the shootings I have daily in Newark. Every day I hear something about someone getting murdered or shot. You know, some form of violence is happening. So what's the answer? We need to treat it as a public health issue. White applauded the governor for creating this task force, comprised of two former attorneys general, education and mental health experts. But she believes the panel isn't diverse enough. Well, that's why we are listening to all people in New Jersey. We're going into the various parts of the state, hearing all views. Governor Christie convened the task force to take a comprehensive look at a host of issues related to gun violence, including addiction and mental health. The latter is of great concern to Chris Peters. She says her son has Asperger's and aggression issues. I don't have a gun in my house. If I did, I probably wouldn't be standing here. I would never take that chance with a son who has this condition. Whether it's substance abuse, schizophrenia, autism, whatever the problem is, we need more access to mental health care. The task force will consider the testimony heard here and at previous hearings when it puts together recommendations that it will present to the governor in the coming weeks. And the governor has pledged to consider all of its suggestions. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Newark.